you can see from the title, I got myself a camera. Like, I feel like I'm more excited because I managed to like grow so quickly by just using my phone. Literally invest in your grind. Like, do I really want this? Before you get a camera, make sure that you know that there'll be other costs involved. It comes in like this little pouch thing. Guys, are you honestly ready for this? Jeff America actually has a whole camera. YouTuber maybe? Like, what? Oh my God. <laughs> Uh, let me break it down for y'all real quick. Yes. You see my baby, she's expensive. You see my baby, she's expensive. My baby, she's expensive. We getting money, then we spend it. Getting money, then hey we spend it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is such an exciting video that I can't even like. You guys are seeing from the title now, so you guys are probably thinking, I know why she's happy. Yeah, guys, after over a year of doing YouTube, I've actually decided to get to myself a camera. I don't know, maybe I'm making it a big thing, but to others, it's like mine. I'm like, yeah, obviously gonna pack the camera as soon as I start YouTube. Like, I feel like I'm more excited because I managed to like grow so quickly by just using my phone. So I feel like I can be such a good example to people like to not splash the cash just yet. So you're ready to see the camera I got. I'm gonna be unboxing it right now, right here. Guys, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and let's get straight to the unboxing. So I'm so excited. So this is the Sony A. 5100? I don't really know how you say it. It's A5100. Okay guys, I'm gonna tell you a little secret. I have opened this before this video because obviously I had to make sure everything was intact, in check. Okay guys, let me give you a little bit of a backstory as to why I got this camera, why I got camera anyway. Okay, so I've been doing YouTube for like over a year and like, I wanna say five months now, maybe six months, I'm not too sure. I started November 2018 and I've been using my phone. When I first started, I had an iPhone 8 Plus and that was the best phone to record on. I can't even like, it was amazing. In December, I had an upgrade and I got myself the phone I have now, which is a iPhone 11 Pro Max. Basically, I've been blessed with like really good phones that are quite big as well, like widescreen. So my videos were like, I enjoyed filming on that. Like it was good. I even explain like I'm here now, aren't I? In the sense of, I've actually progressed just by using a phone. More stories, I want to be an example to you lot, as in you lot don't need to go splash out on a camera as soon as you start YouTube because you think your content is going to be lit. Like, don't be too rash with it. Just to put out there, like, this video isn't there for me to, like, brag or boast or whatever because I know, like, everyone's financial situation is completely different. So, obviously, I'm going to be opening this box, telling you the price, blah, blah, blah. And if it's in your range, then obviously go ahead, go up and buy it. If it's not, I'm sure there's other alternative, like, cheap ones. Me, personally, for what I want and what I was envisioning my content to be, this is the best cheap one for me literally invest in your grind this is what this video is all about like obviously bare people on the youtube wave now which is great to see so i thought one why don't i teach these people to invest in your grind and two they might want to get camera sh like off the bat they might want to get it straight away they might be able to afford it and that's absolutely fine see because it's so expensive think about why you want it and if you're actually going to progress further with one if you don't knew how many youtube videos i watched before buying this thing yeah bro i watched reviews i watched unboxing i went on like different websites and i was like do i really want this watch like them videos that they compare like another like vlogging camera and the one you want and then you get to see is it worth the money or should i splash out you know, two free wheels more for something that's gonna last me a lifetime. But also make sure you guys buy it at a legit place, like buy it from like Curry's, Argos, Amazon. Yeah, you can get it secondhand, but I have no idea about like all that jazz because I don't know like what's legit and what's not. I just went like to a legit shop because obviously you're spending like five bills, four bills on something. You wanna make sure that like, you're not getting bumped. Before you get a camera, make sure that you know that there'll be other costs involved. Those cameras only come with one battery. You're gonna need like two free for batteries like in the future because when you've got stuff to do you ain't got time to wait for it to charge you need to just slap a new battery and boom boom bow <laughs> makes me so happy okay, off the bat it is the 16 to 50 mm power zoom lens kit once you first open it it comes with like um an information leaflet book sort of thing just like watch youtube videos so i think they're just so much easier but yeah it comes in like this little book thingy majority and then you get like all these leaflets about like 
new lenses, new batteries, and like wireless sharing and connecting to your phone and all that good stuff. First you get this um, little adapter. So obviously it connects the USB charging bit and then the other side to plug into the wall. And then you have one part of the charging system. Then this is obviously for different countries. Um, this is handy because obviously when you fly out, you're gonna need to charge your battery somewhere. And we also have the other part of the charging system. It also comes with a little like strap. So like when you're vlogging, your camera is secure and you're not dropping it up all over the place. It comes in like this little pouch thing. Guys, are you honestly ready for this? <laughs> oh my god. Jeff Mogo actually has a whole camera. YouTuber maybe? Like, what? This is the Sony A500 and wow. Like it actually fits in my hand. That's how adorable it is. Um, if you know the G7X, it's pretty much the same size, just this is a, might be a little bit heavier only because of the lens. It's got the little, um, what's it called? Lens cover or whatever. <laughs> Stop. It was £399. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, this is like one of the cheapest cameras you can get that's actually still good to this day. Like, this came out years ago and people still vouch to this day as one of like the best cameras even in 2020. It's crazy. I got this from Curry's, but like I mentioned before, you can get it from Argos, Amazon, just any Lidge shop. This does overheat very quickly. This is amazing for vlogging because you only like vlog certain clips here and there anyway. Um, but that's just a heads up. So if you want it for like actual sit down videos, this ain't it, baby girls. I think after a while, I will get used to the fact that it does preheat quicker. So I'll be able to like time my videos well. And if I need to put a new battery in whilst I'm filming a long video, so be it. As I have mentioned, my phone does an amazing job anyway. Moral of the story is I've got two cameras basically because I can still do sit down videos with this and vlog on this. Um, this is amazing because it has like wireless controls. So I can basically take pictures via my phone and I can also record via my phone. I've just had it for like a couple of hours. Um, give me till like next week and I'll be a pro. You will see content coming from this bad boy. So just wait. When I first opened it, it had the battery that it comes with. Obviously it was dead, so I had to put it on charge. It did say it takes 310 minutes for it to charge, which is roughly like five hours. I said, whoa. It charged in like two. So my point is it says five hours, but it can charge in two. I guess it depends what battery you get in your box or something, I don't know. So this is like the charging dock. It's on the side here. This side as well, this is where the memory card goes. Let me let you guys know that the memory card actually does not come with the camera. So that is another cost, but we just, we don't talk about it. The one I got was the SanDisk one. Um, some extreme performance team, that's what it's telling me. Could be wrong, who knows? It's just like a SD card. My one is the SDXC card, so it's not an SD one, it's another one. But it still obviously fits into the camera just fine. SD cards are like 25, 30 pound, it's so expensive, but like I mentioned, if you're gonna invest in a camera, I need to remember that other costs are involved. So I've shown you the charging bit, I've shown you the memory card bit, the battery is at the bottom. So you, there's a lever, you lift up, and battery just gets slotted in there. Guys, one of the best things about this camera is the fact that, are you ready? Oh my God, okay, don't embarrass me now. It lifts up, like, is Jackie Mocha actually a vlogger? Stop it. <laughs> when I am vlogging, I can like, oh my God, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Do you see what I'm saying? Amazing, that's part of the reason that drew me to this camera, the fact that it obviously has the thingy wiggy so I can actually see my face when I'm vlogging. Nothing worse than not being able to see your face. Apparently the autofocus in this is immense, like it's great, it's quick. So for example, compared to the G7X, it takes a while to focus, but it gets there in the end. This does it quick and like it's sharp. Um, which is obviously great. Okay, so there is audio um, jacks, I think that's what it's called, um, built in. So even if it's quiet, when you're editing, you can make the sound loud anyway. So I don't really have an issue with that. I don't think it's a big problem. I am getting used to it, so I can't really do much in this video. Like obviously it's gonna take me time to like learn what and how to use it, what settings are like best for me, makes me look good. Let me like flip the screen. 
start recording. Oh, this is so weird. Like, I'm actually vlogging on a camera. And the thing is, I keep looking at the viewfinder. So I keep looking at the, um, the what's it called? I keep looking at the screen instead of looking directly into the lens. It's such a bad thing. But basically, some cameras like wash you out entirely. But this doesn't. Like, yo, is everyone seeing how good my skin looks? We flip it round. Oh my god. I feel like I can't give you a proper, proper review on this camera until I actually start using it. And you guys can actually tell a difference. I can give you guys a review in like two, three months time. So guys, that is all for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I was informative. And I gave you a little bit of a background as to like the pace or I don't know, like the mentality you should have when it comes to like investing in your grind. So I'm going to end the video here. That is all for me today. And I will be back soon for a brand new video. Bye. Uh, you see my baby, she's expensive. You see my baby, she's expensive. My baby, she's expensive. We get money, then we spend it. Any money, then we spend it.